Hi everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. In today's video, I'm super excited to share with you a new trick that I learned with my new thermal laminator. When I think of laminating something, I think of when you're in school and everything gets laminated hot through those two pouches. And this laminator definitely does that. I found another trick that you can do with a laminator that I thought you guys would love to see. Some of you guys already have laminators at home, and so maybe this trick will be new to you. So I picked up this stuff called Reactive Foil at Joann's. It's a Heidi Swap brand and I got it in the color mint. And there was probably, I would say six different colors that they had available. So just pick the color you want. This was around $10 and I used my coupon on it. And then you need a laser printer to print something out. I printed off this picture of a mermaid to use. I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Jay-Z Brain. I decided for my mermaid, I was gonna use the color teal in the reactive foil instead of the mint color. So what you wanna do is take your picture and all you're gonna do is pull the foil off and just make sure that it covers your image, cut it off, and then I'm just going to put a small piece of tape at the top. And then you'll know that your laminator is ready to feed it through whenever the green light is on. Once the green light is on, which only takes a couple of minutes, you're just going to start feeding this through. And the only thing you want to try to do is just keep this paper as straight as possible, but really you have nothing else to do. You just need to wait for it to work its way through the machine. I was totally blown away at how easy this came on. When I pulled it off, all of the foil was on my image and it created this cool foil look to any image that I wanted to do. So you could do that with any picture that you find. You could also make some really cool signs. I printed off this sign that says, I love us. And I thought this would be perfect to put in a frame. So I'm just gonna use the rest of that foil that I didn't use up earlier in the teal. And I'm going to again, feed it through. And then just pull it off. And this was the fun part was taking it off. And it just has that really neat foil color. You could do this with so many different colors and so many different projects. And then just add it to a frame. And how beautiful does that look? They also have lots of pouches that are clear that you can use. I decided to take one of my daughter's school pictures, feed it through. There was no bumps and it was clear and perfect. And I thought this is great for preserving school pictures. So I'm just going to trim up the edges. It also comes with this really neat corner punch. So I'm going to punch out the edges so that they're really smooth and it looks really professional. I thought this would make a great gift for grandparents, or you could even just make it a magnet by putting it on the back and hanging it on your fridge. We recently went on the Polar Express train. And so I thought I really wanted to preserve these because they use the little punch and cut out the letter for the kids' names. So I'm gonna take one of the big pouches. This kit comes with 20 uh, different size pouches and I could fit both of these in here super easy. And then all you have to do is cover it up and feed it through the machine. It's really easy. I fed it through on the side that has the fold on it, but I'm loving this. I'm trying to like come up with so many different things to laminate and I'm finding fun things around the house that I can really preserve using this laminator. And another great feature is it has a cutter on the top. So I was able to use this to trim down my tickets and the cutter works so great. And then I just rounded off the edges and I just think this is a wonderful way to preserve things and keep them. If you guys are interested in my laminator, I will link below a 20% off code in the description box. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.